Hi, this video will introduce Lime to do statistics. After we have launched Lime, we are going to open the file. So, file, you new, then uh, new line workflow, and then you click next. And then you're going to install this uh, line workflow. Let's give you a project name. So I call it uh, intro uh, one, intro. And then save it in the local, then finish. Okay, now in order to import the data, we need a file reader. So the file reader, you can either use the IO here, IO input output there, then you can look for what is inside IO. The common one, you can see the file reader here, right? Read, then you can, for example, inside there, you can see the file reader. Alright, so this is one way. So we can drag the file reader, or we can also search for file reader by right? typing file. Okay, file reader, then it show up there. So let's drag this to the workflow area. So I have a file reader now. Okay, after you have file reader already, I must configure the file reader. So right click. Configure it. Now, you need to find the file. So, browse the computer. Let's say I have a file which I know is inside the D drive source. Then, I have, I'm going to look at the data. So, SAE folder. There's a data here, so data set. So under intro, so I have data set uh, PIMA. So this data set is about a diagnostic of diabetes. So they have uh, a lot of uh, information like glucose pregnancy and then blood pressure, tricep, insulin, BMI. So if you want to see the whole picture, so accept maximize it. Now the in this data set, okay, diabetics for example is only zero and one. Whereas zero and one basically means zero means without a diabetics and then one means have Diabetics, right? So what we're going to do is the data here usually have type. So what you can do is make sure that diabetic is right click the column to change the type. So in this case, this is integer. I want to change it to string. Okay, string. It's not number. Right? This this is actually meaningless to talk about. Diabetic and being zero and one, so we put it a string, then okay, All right? Then uh, okay here, okay, okay here. Then you can actually execute. Now the the file is ready. Now let's look at execute first. So right click, execute. So this node has become green. Next. I want to create a histogram, so I can search for histogram, in a, and then I'm going to select histogram interactive. So and then I'm going to drag them in the workflow. I can connect them now. Let's draw a link connection to the center 
of histogram and then for this I want to okay histogram of body mass index so let's right click first configure it so now the pinning column is actually I want to change it to BMI and then this one is adequate column I go to change to BMI also and then remove the Google's then okay then execute and then open view you can execute open view or as this is a view interactive here so you can find that this is a histogram of body mass index you can adjust the pin size by visualizing setting so adjust the pin size so that you can see the pin size become thicker it's not, not look like a normal histogram where there is no uh, spacing between them or you can say side by side or maximal step okay so let's close the histogram and we continue to explore the statistic of this data next we're going to look at a bar chart uh, the number of the number of women who have diabetics so we're going to first look for color manager first color manager so I drag this to the workflow and now I'm going to then connect the, the file reader to color manager and then we configure the color manager so in this case uh, the selection is diabetic and you can select one to red and zero to blue so for example one to red so blue first so blue is zero and then here I want red is one then OK and then execute so this is done now I'm going to look at the histogram now so I'll go for histogram so search for histogram so I'm going to drag this time another histogram Link the color manager to histogram then configure it so in this case pinning on of diabetics that will be enough so okay then right click execute open view so your two column okay the yellow means women without diabetics and red means a woman diagnosed with diabetics so now let's close this histogram next I want to construct a box block to compare women with diabetics and their distribution of body mass index so the way to do this is draw a construct a conditional block block here so conditional block block there are possibility 
is okay. Move this conditional block block here. And connect this to the bar reader. Okay, configure it on the nominal column is diabetic, and the male column is actually the body mass index. Then, okay, now right click, execute, and open view. The distribution of body mass index for women without diabetics and the distribution of body mass index for women with diabetics. Next, I'm going to create a scatter plot to investigate women with uh, diabetics with their BI index and uh, glucose level. So let's go to scatter plot, which I have shown you here. Scatter plot, there are two scatter plot here. I'm going to use the one with JavaScript, drag it to the workflow, collect color manager to this scatter plot, then configure the scatter plot. The X will be the body mass index. And goals level will be the Y. Then, OK. Then execute. And then you can view the scatter plot. So you can view the scatter plot of women with diabetes or without diabetes and their body mass index versus the glucose level.